Hey guys, it's Zach. Hope you all are doing well. Welcome to the new channel, the Android Taylor channel. This channel is dedicated to all things Android customization. This is also the new home of best Android setups. I know you guys have been really looking forward to this, and honestly, I have been too. A lot of you have already subscribed, even before I upload a video, which is awesome. The support for this has been insane. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Really looking forward to getting more and more customization videos out for you guys. I know you really enjoy them, so here we go. This is the first one, home screen setup tutorial version seven for those of you that are new to my videos i have made six other home screen setup tutorials you can check the link in the description to a playlist that has all of those previous setup tutorials you guys have probably noticed this phone is actually currently slowly but surely making its way that way anyway <laughs> let's go ahead and get into the tutorial all right so i will be demonstrating on the pixel 4a right here uh, not everything that is required is installed so i will be walking you through pretty much everything you need to know so let's go ahead and go into the play store grab nova launcher that is what we're using for this setup you should be able to find the prime version nova launcher prime and install it all right, so here we have a completely blank slate. This is what it's gonna look like if you haven't set up Nova Launcher before. This is what you're gonna be greeted with. Um, so let's just do start fresh, hit next. Uh, you can choose whichever theme you want, light or dark or auto if you want. Hit next. We're gonna do swipe up to get to the app drawer. Hit apply and well, it threw us back into the Pixel Launcher. So here is the Nova Launcher right here. Uh, the first thing that I would recommend doing just to make things a little easier is go ahead and set it as your default launcher. Go right here, set default launcher. Nova Launcher and boom. So every time you go home, it'll bring you to Nova Launcher as opposed to whatever other launcher you're using at the time. All right, so let's start off with our grid size. Long press on the home screen, go to settings, go to home screen up top, desktop grid, and then we're gonna go ahead and do nine by five. I think I'm, am I doing this right? Yeah, nine by five, there you go. Icon layout is next. I have mine currently at 110. That's usually what I keep them at. Uh, sometimes it could be 115 or maybe even 105, but right now I've got them at 110. Go ahead and disable the icon labels just to keep everything nice and clean. Of course, you can keep whatever settings you'd prefer. Going back, uh, we go to dock next. I didn't do anything with padding, just in case you were wondering. I do have the dock enabled for this one. Uh, dock pages, that's at one. Uh, the dock icons, I have seven of those. So go ahead and do that. As for the icon layout, I just have that to match desktop size. So I don't have to change anything there. Same thing with padding um, and nothing else here is changed. Next up, we have the search bar placement. Uh, we set this to none. So there you go, there's that. After that, I have the page indicator. You can turn this off if you'd like. Uh, sometimes it is nice to just have it completely disabled just so it's nice and clean. Um, but currently I do have it set to that one right there. And then I believe that's it for this area. So let's go ahead and go back. Next up is app drawer. So let's go to the app drawer here. The grid size, I have it set to the default. That is six by four. Pretty much everything here is gonna remain the same. Again, you can change this to whatever you'd like. Obviously, one thing I do have different in my setup is the drawer groups that allows you to have folders in your app drawer, which I think is super convenient. And then I do have folders first. That should be on by default. Um, to do this, you just go into drawer groups make sure you're on the folders tab. This tabs tab is also useful as well, which is pretty cool, but I have folders here as well, and you can add them, do whatever you want. You could do, um, you know, social, for example. Oops, social P, I did not mean to, okay, really? <laughs> All right, there we go. Hit the pencil icon after that, and uh, select the applications that you'd like in there. And then you can also, of course, choose to keep the applications that you want in the folder in the main app drawer at the same time. Uh, so that's for the folders for the app drawer. I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. Swipe up and there's that folder right there. <laughs> and it's still set to social P. But that was it for the app drawer in the folders. I didn't really have anything changed in here, I don't think. I just left everything default. Ooh, I did forget back in the look and feel tab. This is also very important. There are a lot of cool things that you can change in here. Obviously, I do usually like to turn off the notification bar just to keep things nice and clean. Um, trans transparent notification bar and transparent navigation bar on by default. And yeah, pretty cool stuff that you can change in here. And I believe that is it for the settings. All right, so since we were talking about the Candy Cons icon pack, let's go ahead and do that right now. You can do the regular Candy Cons icon pack if you'd like, but the one that I'm using right now is the Candy Cons Unwrapped icon pack. It's highly recommended. I've already purchased this one. I forgot how much it costs, but of course I'll have that information around here somewhere on the screen. And then of course you'll see it if you go to the Play Store. Um, but let's go ahead and hit install on that. Next up, go ahead and grab the Diffuse Apple Music Live Wallpaper. This is the live wallpaper that I'm using on the setup, of course. It has quickly become one of my favorite live wallpapers of all time it just looks great i love it and it works really well there is a paid version i highly recommend this to get the most out of it um, to get all the full features and whatnot 
I love it. I, I'm sure you guys will too. So go ahead and install that. Go ahead and hop back into the Nova Launcher settings. Go to look and feel, icon style, icon theme, and then candy cons unwrapped. And then while we're at it, we can go ahead and long press again, wallpapers, scroll all the way over here, live wallpapers, hit diffuse. And even before we set it up, we can set it as our live wallpaper. We're making progress. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is add our widgets. So let's long press, and the first widget that you shouldn't have to install, it should just come default on your Android phone, is the Google search bar. So I have the Google search bar set in the uh, dock and it's off to the left hand side. So you're going to get this when you first uh, try to add a widget. Go ahead and do always allow so that you don't always have to see this pop up every time. Create and boom, there you go. And before we get to adding all of the rest of these widgets here, let's get those two little dots that you see on the setup. Now those are folders and that's where I keep my most used applications. And you can do whatever you'd like with those icons. You can make them look however you'd like them to look, but this is just how I do it. So for example, let's just add some applications here. Let's just do Google, let's do the Play Store. All right, let's do the Play Store. Let's make a folder and put the application that you want to open when you tap on it in the first position. So when you have a folder, go ahead and long press on the folder, hit edit. So swipe to open folder, enable that. And then first item in folder for the tap action. So as you see right there, it says tap action. So when you tap on it, it'll open up the Play Store. And then when you swipe up, it'll open up the folder. Now to get the white icon, the little dot, long press on that, hit the pencil icon, tap on the actual icon itself, go to the candy cons unwrapped icon pack, scroll down just a little bit and you'll see here these dots. And of course there are a number of colored dots that you can use. I have the white ones, you can use whichever one you want. And there you go. So go ahead and drag that all the way down to the dock and there you go. And you do the same thing for the other folder uh, to the left of that. I'll do it one more time just so you guys can get a good feel for it. Add the folder, long press, edit, swipe to open folder, first item in folder, tap on the icon to change it with your icon pack. Scroll down just a little bit. There you go. And you're good. So if I were to swipe up on one of them, boom, there's the folder. If I were to tap on one, boom, it opens up the first app in that folder. So there you go, there's that. All right, so now I hope you're ready. This is where things get a little more complex. Go ahead and grab KWGT Custom Widget Maker and then grab the Pro Key. This is how you're gonna be able to customize everything. So install that and then go ahead and install that. After that, you're gonna to wanna to grab the Orca for KWGT. This is where our main widgets come from. And then after that, you're gonna to wanna to do Instinct for KWGT. Instinct KWGT, it's a nice pack and install that one. Now real quick, just so I can change the color of this background, let's go into the diffuse settings. So go to the actual application for the live wallpaper right there. And this is what the settings look like. It's one of the cleanest live wallpaper settings or just settings in general that I've seen. Uh, and you're gonna have to allow some access to some stuff. So allow reading notifications. So whatever media you're playing, it can kind of tell the colors from that album art or whatever. So it can uh, generate the colors for the actual live wallpaper. So let's go ahead and allow that. And then you also have open music application. The one that I'm gonna be using is Spotify. Let's go ahead and choose a random song here. And uh, when we go back, you should see the color change. All right, it looks kind of muddy. <laughs> okay, let's not do that one, shall we? I went ahead and I chose a song. Uh, I paused it, but this is what the live wallpaper looks like right now. Obviously the live wallpaper will shift around as the music is playing. So you have graphic settings, um, you can change all that. And this is why you want to get the paid version so you can really take advantage of all that stuff. You have performance mode as well. And yeah, so that's it for that wallpaper part. Uh, but let's get back to the KWGT part. So now go ahead and long press on the home screen, go to widgets, scroll down until you see KWGT right here. You can add whatever size because we're just going to resize it anyway. I believe it's something along the lines of this. If I'm not mistaken, something like that, something like that size. It takes up about half of the home screen there. So go ahead and tap on that next. Let's go to Orca for KWGT. And we are going to look for widget number, I believe it's 40. So zero, four, zero, and there it is right there. That is the widget that I'm using, the main one up top. It looks fantastic. I love it. Let's go to layer right here, that layer tab. Let's go to uh, layer again. And then you see the scale option right there at the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and increase that just a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, go ahead and go back. And one thing that I do have changed is that I have the phone's battery percentage in here instead of it being an app door button. We will get to changing that in a little bit, but for now, let's hit the save button, go back, and there is the widget on the home screen. And of course, you can resize it however you'd like. And now let's add our next widget, same thing. Go to widgets, KWGT. 
Uh, I think this one is size something like that. We'll just roll with that for now. This one is from Instinct. I believe this is widget number 49. All right, here it is, is it's actually a larger widget than the one that we placed on the home screen, but we are going to resize and get rid of a couple things. All right, so this is where it's gonna land you when you tap on the instinct widget number 49 again. Go ahead and hit overlap group, go to position right there, and do the Y offset. We're going to kind of pinpoint this so we can get rid of some things and so it's easier to look at as we're adjusting things and taking things away or whatever. Then go ahead and hit overlap group again, Go to this right here, this checkbox right here. Go ahead and hit that one, boom, like that. Hit the trash icon and we got rid of the search uh, icon because we don't really need that for this specific one. Now for the time, this is where you're gonna have to dig a little bit more. Go to the, sec the second overlap group right here, not the stack one, the overlap group. Go right there and then we're looking to delete the time. As you can see right there, the text box for the time right there and delete and there it goes. So now go back and we're trying to edit all of this at the same time. We're trying to move all of these things at the same time. So go back one more time and we can scale it up just a little bit. In fact, we can do that a lot of it. <laughs> uh, let's go with 90 for now, just for now, just to see what it looks like. Then scroll over here, go back to items, go back to this overlap group again. I could have done this before. Go to position and we're going to bring it up, bring it up so we can kind of center it just a little bit. Let's try 55 for now. That looks pretty good. Hit the save icon. Go home and ah, it actually looks pretty good. Is that is that how I had it set up on my on my actual setup here? Let me see one one more time. Nope. So on my original setup, I actually did get rid of the January uh, 2021. I did get rid of the month and the day because that is already up here on the top widget. So it's kind of redundant. So let's go ahead and get rid of those two, shall we? So we're gonna tap on the widget. It should bring us back into the editor. Let's go back into our overlap group. Go back into this overlap group and let's get rid of the january 2021 okay there we go and the monday so there you go hit the trash icon for those and we should be good to go let's do the position again so let's go back to where you see the stack group and overlap group at the same time hit position bring that up just a little bit go back to layer and scale the layer save and boom there you go, looks good. All right, so I was pretty much doing all of this from memory. It is a little different. Obviously the widget is placed a little lower and it is a little smaller. You can adjust things as you see fit. So I'm gonna tap on that again and I'm going to decrease the size just so it matches the original setup. And then also I'm going to resize this. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so now it looks more like the original. Now let's go ahead and jump back into this widget right here and change this to the battery percentage. So we're gonna tap on the widget in kind of like an empty spot and it should bring us back into the editor. Let's tap on widget where it has all of the different elements that make up this widget. Let's look for where it says app drawer. So let's see, app drawer, app drawer, app drawer. It's at the very bottom. You can obviously keep that there if you want. Um, but we're gonna change it to battery percentage. So right now it has text showing up as app drawer. So let's go ahead and tap on app drawer. That's the actual text part. And we're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna take advantage of these presets. So we want battery percentage and I believe it is where battery info right here, battery info. And we are going to select battery level and it has the formula already there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the checkbox and there you go. It's already there. Sorry, if you hear, if you hear like a bunch of clanking around outside that is the garbage truck picking up my trash i appreciate you guys out there thank you for doing what you do but um <laughs> anyway so if you go to the rectangle element that'll actually do the same thing if you just go to touch and you can do this instead of doing it for the actual text itself but we're going to do the same thing here just for the sake of this tutorial and launch shortcut Go to the shortcut, go to settings, a shortcut, and go to battery, boom. So hit the save button, always make sure you hit the save button, it'll refresh, hit that, and it'll go to our battery uh, stats for the phone, which is great. So nice and easy, there's that. That's the meat of the setup. But now let's go to the second home page where I do have another widget. All right, so long press on the home screen, swipe over here to add a new page, press the add button, add blank widgets, Go to KWGT as we have been. Uh, again, from memory, I believe it's something like, um, eh, something like this. Let's just do that for now. Tap on the widget, go to Orca. I believe this one was Orca 041. 
So right after the one that we used for the first home screen. Yep, right there, 041. Gonna go ahead and make it a little bigger. Okay, <laughs> let's, let's dial back on that just a little bit. Go over to items, go to widget that has all of this, all of the elements that make this widget up. Go to position, okay, position, there we go. And we're going to bring it down just a little bit more. We can go back over to layer one more time. And we can scale that up. Eh, that should be fine for now. Now that we have everything kind of rearranged a little bit, go to the widget area. This is what I did. Of course, you can do whatever the heck you want to do. This is all open to you guys and your preferences and whatever you'd like to do. Um, but in order to change the name up here, because that is just a name, uh, a default name, just for example, just to show you what it looks like. Let's go to top info right here. Go to username and mail. Let's do the name first. And then what you're going to want to do is hit the checkbox right here. Hit the checkbox, hit that little globe icon at the upper right hand corner. And now you're able to kind of adjust it how you see fit. So for this one, so let's just do Zach for this one. Make it nice and easy. All right, there you go, Zach. And then do the same thing. I believe it's the same thing. Yeah, the same thing for the email or whatever kind of URL you want to put there. Or you can just get rid of it completely if you want. Um, I guess for the sake of this, let's just do the same thing. Boom. Let's let's make this just let's just do this. How about that? <laughs> just for the sake of the video, just so it can have something just to show you guys how it works. There you go. And now if you want to change the icon, which is a pretty cool addition to this widget, um, you can do that user pick right there. And then you're going to want to go to pick right here, then go to I believe it's FX. Yes, go to FX and then do the same thing with the check. OK, go here, <laughs> go to FX and then hit the checkbox right there. Global kind of unlocks it a little bit, I guess, and you can pick your image. So let's just say I wanted to pick this image of Galaxy Z Fold 2 just for the heck of it. Why not? And that's pretty much it for this widget. And I believe that might be it for the whole entire tutorial. So that is the setup. If I left anything out, please forgive me. I didn't mean to. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the setup. It looks good. Let's go ahead and compare it to the original one. All right. Uh, it looks pretty good. Uh, I could just make this widget a little bit bigger. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much the same. Yeah, there you go. Of course, this widget is bigger on here than it is on there. But of course, you can just adjust that as you see fit. But yeah, that's the setup, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, be sure to leave a big thumbs up. I know a lot of you guys do get a lot out of these videos, which is great. I really appreciate you guys for watching, supporting and commenting, liking, subscribing, all that good stuff. Go ahead and follow the socials down below for more updates on new videos. Again, I do plan on posting a lot of customization videos on this channel. That's what it's for. And again, Best Android Setups is on its way back. I have two episodes already planned out basically ready to go. I just have to put the videos together. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and for the continued support. I could go on forever, but I will not. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching.